Greetings everyone and a warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poland, beaming out to you from Little Castaways Beach in Queensland, Australia, joined today by Francis P. Scholl. Francis, g'day sir, very warm welcome. Where are you hanging out? Hello, thank you. Thank you, Tom. I am in uh, the Hollywood Hills, actually, in Hollywood, in Los oh, Angeles, California. Beautiful, yeah. Hollywood Hills. Love that part of the world. And uh, so originally you, uh, you, you migrated presumably from where? Yeah, from Paris, France. I was born there. I grew up there, uh, raised and educated in France. And then I moved to the States um, almost 25 years ago. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a fair while. That's longer than I've been in Australia from New Zealand. So, folks, if you don't know Francis, he's a Wall Street Journal USA Today international best-selling author. So it's a real privilege to have you here today, Francis. He uses deep human learning and cognitive science to help leaders and Fortune 500 companies solve complex problems and thrive in disruption. Disruption. I'm actually going to, I disrupted the word disruption. That's really clever. Uh, <laughs> it's often how a, a disruption happens, I'm sure, is accidentally. Um, so our title today, folks, is how to assess whether you, your team, or your organization are fit to adapt, innovate, and thrive in disruption. And Francis is going to share how to do that in just seven minutes. Big, big ask, Francis, but I'm sure you're up to it. Our question, seven minutes starts now. Question number one, sir, who is your ideal client? So our ideal clients are HR executives, the C-suite of organizations, CMOs, um, CFOs, we work all, all the people who have to impact the culture of the organization to get better results. And we also market to coaches and consultants and HR executives um, to actually certify in our assessment that has been now proven with 250,000 people around the world in about 20 Fortune 500s. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this is very, very impressive stuff. So tell us more about this question too, six and a half minutes left. Tell us more about the problem you solve for these folks. So everybody's looking for agility and creativity today in this fast, disruptive world that you were mentioning very before, true, you know, very true. Um, and those are kind of empty words. We make them really real and we actually show the path visually with a simple model that everybody can understand how to access that natural innate potential that's so rarely tapped into in, in business. It sounds, I mean, you said that very quickly, but it sounds quite deep, actually. If you if you were unpacking that, that could take a week. So let's <laughs> let's carry on because we don't unfortunately we don't have a week. We have six minutes left. What what are some of the typical symptoms that uh, one of these HR directors, this coach, this consultant, maybe I know there's two different markets there. But let's let's go with the HR director. An sure. organization is going to have some symptoms that they need what you've got. What does that look like? Sure. So one of the things I'd like to share with you is that like it took me three books like, actually to <laughs> to explain what I'm doing to people. Right. Three Yes, over 15 years. So the symptoms are usually um, how to engage people into change dynamics. You know, nobody likes to change habits. Right. Uh, every year you see in magazines, you know, how to lose weight for the summer, you know, um, because Again. it's hard to change. So we do this well, you know, we break down where individual inertia and organizational inertia lives. And um, we don't teach anything. We take people through the experience of it. So inertia individual and collective performance that often comes today with burnout so we find a new path to performance it's not like you know performance is a must you know we live on a boxing ring we're in business but how do you engage performance from which place and uh, and sometimes why do you perform that's another bigger question so squirkle definitely delivers on those two things how and why Right. and brings new perspective and actually enables people to perform more with less effort. So so the, the HR director who was thinking of reaching out to you, what would be going on in their organization or in their mind? What would be their concerns? What would they be experiencing? They would think, I need to look more deeply at Squirkle Academy. Um, so people I work with, I talk to today, um, their main problems are engagement. You know, people right. are tired. Right. Um, well, I've reached place of burnout when they don't notice burnout anymore. Wow. Um, they work nine to nine. Wow. Three time zones. Yeah. And sometimes they don't stop over the weekend. So, you know, it's it's really maxed out because of the circumstances and because of everybody moved digital and digital is faster. Right. You know, more and, virtual. So. And, and as you said, often, often remote time zones. Uh, so, so three and a half minutes left. 
what are, I mean, with the smart people, are, the, the, and your HR directors particularly are caring people. So they're going to try things to increase agility, increase creativity, lower burnout, increase productivity. They might make some mistakes before they find Squirkle. So what are some of those common mistakes? It's the way we look at problems, the way we ask questions. I work for a global company and a makeup has been challenged by COVID. You know, the category worldwide went down by 30%. So how do you reinvent yourself? Um, in a highly competitive, low barrier entry uh, market, and you right. know the internal consultants and and um, and HR people have actually said, well, we need to give them more freedom within the framework, within the corporate framework. And I'm saying, no, you need to give them freedom with the support of a framework, not within the framework, because that's where you actually phrase the approach in a way that will immediately limit. People's, inability, uh, people's natural innate ability to be creative and agile. You know, if you put me in a framework, you put me in a box. And I'm sorry, right. you know, right. we're more than a box. We're more than a mental box. So just that adjustment of how you look at the problems and, of course, how you work on the problems. That was quite uh, that, And that's just a remarkable distinction there within a framework versus being supported by the framework. That, that, that in itself would unpack all sorts of differences. Thank right. you for that. Uh, two minutes left. One valuable free action, a top tip that's going to help a little bit. Won't solve the whole problem, but it might take that HR director a step in the right direction. Sure. So, you know, in, in the Squirkle book and on the website, you'll find an image where you have the circle, our adaptability, creativity, agility, natural, you know, it's represented by the circle. And then the frame, the square right. being being structure, logic, dependability. So we live in a culture where the circle is, win, is, win, is within the square. Right. And that's where the circle cannot fly, you know, like a bird cannot fly. So the free, the free thing is liberate the natural part of ourselves. Let the circle actually encircle the square. You know, it's just that simple image. Download the image, put it next to your computer so that you can engage your complex problems through the circle and not through the square. Loving this. Going to do that. So folks, uh, we'll give you a link in a moment. Uh, question six, uh, 90 seconds left. One valuable free resource we could direct people to that's going to help them even more. I'm going to jump in here because I know what it is just to save time. It's Squircle Academy. So S-Q-U-I-R-C-L-E academy.com forward slash test. What are, they going, what are they going to find there, Francis? An assessment that will be customized to their style of thinking and working. And then We'll give them also information about six other types around themselves, you know, at work, around them at work. So they can build better teams. They can have better languages to, to actually work with different styles, you know. And right. all of this lives in that report. So they'll right. get a big report and something really valuable with steps, actionable steps. Fantastic. All, all right. Stuff. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about this. I can feel my neck tingling. <laughs> that's, that's how much potential I think there is here. 30 seconds left, sir. Question number seven. Last one. What's the one question I should have asked you? but didn't why is it credible why is it credible because it's science-based everything we do at the human company is researched it all was generated through work that we did 15 years ago for l'oreal we did a deep dive in their culture we mobilized the latest in uh, in scientific research and we still are you know validating everything we do through research and it's been pressure tested by 250,000 executives around the world in more than 20 fortune 500 companies fantastic francis thank you so much for your time you're so welcome Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.